Hello YouTube and welcome to your 14th Microsoft Visual Basic 2010 Express tutorial and in this tutorial I will be covering nested loops so you can see um, I made everything bigger so that it's easier to read the code I noticed in some of my earlier videos it's hard to read the code so I just went ahead and decreased the resolution a bit so it's easier for all the viewers to see so they don't have to play it in full screen so uh, you can see I added a button called nested loops set the text to nested loops and the name to button nested loops. You can see it right there. So we'll go ahead and double click on that and we're going to start writing the code for it. So to start off we're going to clear the list and um, if you don't know what that is then go back to my earlier tutorials those are crucial for moving on to these because I'm doing all this in the same project um, unless you just want to watch this anyway. So we went and cleared the list which clears everything inside there now we're going to start our nested loop. So we're going to do for int outer loop as integer, and we want to do it one to five. And you can see it automatically creates next down here for us. We create a nested for loop inside of that. So for int inner loop as integer, and we want to do one two six and um we'll do list data dot items dot add you should be very familiar with that and I'll do int outer loop and we'll just go ahead and separate these with a comma don't forget to convert it to a string int outer loop dot two string and we'll go ahead and put int inner loop dot to string okay so you can see that we have a loop and this next down here matches up with the top you can see when I highlight it it goes to that loop and this next goes to that loop so you can go ahead and nest as many loops as you want uh, it doesn't matter how many loops you put as long as you do it all right it'll work you can have like a million loops nested inside of each other and it'll still work and um, so we'll go ahead and run the program and then I'll come back and explain it. This is the second time I've done this tutorial because last time I tried explaining it I really screwed up my words and it made it hard to understand. So um, we'll go ahead and leave this window box open and leave this code down here uh, so I can explain it while it's running. So here's the program. You can see when I click nested loops it um, it generates all of these weird numbers with commas in between them it looks random but um it has a a um what's it called an order to it so um we'll just go ahead you can see it says one 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 two one three one four one five one six two one two 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 three two four two five two six three one three two and on and on and on it goes all the way up until five six so you can see in our code we start off by clearing the list and um see when we when we click it it clears the list you can see it's not um it doesn't have the loop that we generated last time up there so we cleared the list and we started with our first for loop for int outer loop as integer 1 to 5 so we start off by creating that integer int outer loop and displayed it as a 1 uh, on the screen and then nested inside of that there was another loop for int inner inner loop as integer 1 to stick 1 to 6 um, list data dot items dot add int outer loop dot two string which is these ones and int inner loop dot two string right there. So what it does is um, it goes through it goes to the top of this for loop the first line right there and it says int outer loop is an integer and it's equal to one. So we're gonna go down to the next line and what it basically does is it does it starts off through this loop. And then goes through li this loop as many times as it needs to get to six, and then comes down to this next and goes back up to the top. That might sound a little confusing, but if you look this these numbers over, you'll see you'll see the system and the pattern to it. So it starts off with one, and then it goes through this loop until it's equal to six. So one, and then it displays one, which is the first time going through this inner loop right here, and then one 
two, one, three, one, four, one, five, one, six. So it goes through this inner loop six times um, because it's a for loop and it does it until the value is met. And then it goes on to this next and goes back up to the top and sets um, int outer loop equal to two. And so it goes two, one, two, three, two, four, two, five, two, six. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to PM me or comment it um, because this is really confusing. It might be really confusing for some of you. So uh, don't hesitate to ask. And um, uh, I don't know how long I've been recording right now, but YouTube has recently made it to where you can upload videos up to 15 minutes long. So um, tell me if you guys like the short tutorials or the long tutorials. Um, what you want to see, just give me suggestions because that will help me get what you guys want. So um, thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Uh, go over this code yourself. You can you can nest um, whatever kind of loop you want. You can nest a for loop. You can nest a do while loop. You can nest a do loop, a do until loop. You can nest a for each loop, a for loop, um, any kind of loop. You can nest it. So go ahead, make a bunch of nested loops, and make a a small little program out of it, get used to the code, and then move on to the next tutorial.